soulmate orgy or something. A soulmate orgy? <laughs> 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 we're going to be turning red for heart healthy awareness. Yes, we are. And we're about to dance. Yes, we are. And we're going to be turning. Yes. You ain't got to worry about having no men, as they say, my man, my man. You ain't got to worry about that, okay? Yeah. Hi, squad. Hey. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. It is Saturday morning. It is about 7.30ish in the morning. And your girl is up because I'm preparing to take myself to class because with all this traveling and drinking and all-inclusive resorts and eating, your girl can pack on a little extra fluff than what I'm used to. So before it spirals too far out of control, I am going to do something about it. So today is a twofer. I'm going to try to do two classes. Um, one at 9, one at 10.30. I also went on yesterday and I signed up for a weight loss challenge. Um, and the challenge consists of some things that um, it's going to take some discipline for me to uh, get through it. Because I signed up for the 10-week challenge. Um, you have to do 5 a.m., 5, 5 a.m. and 5 p.m. check-ins. Um, you have to follow a specific meal plan. Um, you also have to commit to doing a certain amount, a certain amount of uh, workouts per week, um, depending on what your goals were. It was designed to cater to your personal goals. So y'all pray for me. Let's have a moment of silence. Y'all gonna have to pray me through this because this is gonna be hard. No alcohol, um, and it's designed to you know. Make you make sure that you're successful with whatever it is you're trying to achieve. Now, if you do everything as as um, instructed and you make it to the end or whatever, you have the uh, opportunity to get your money back. Um, if you do not, then of course you lose your money. So it's gonna be rough, y'all. This is gonna be rough. Even though I I don't think I did too bad. Like with the all inclusive resorts and things like that, you still have. You know, your, your things that you can do to try to cut away from calories, like eating your burgers open face, taking some of the bread off, don't get cheese. I mean, you can do the little things to try to uh, make sure that you ain't, you know, spiraling too out of control. But your girl don't like it. Your girl got a birthday coming up, so your girl got to do something about it, and that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to brush my teeth right here real quick, like, and then we're going to get out of here so that we can get to class on time. Hey you guys, welcome back to Pink Table Talk. I'm here hey, with the ladies. We back. Like we never left. For the new year. <laughs> For the new year. We never did one. We did New Year's resolutions. We, we did New Year's Eve. Shot, okay, so shot, we're back. Shot. And we are sober. We don't have any shots. But anyway, we're changing we, our lives. We have. <laughs> but anyways, we have a topic. So the topic is can your Soulmate be someone else's husband or wife. Okay. Mm. Because I ain't no such thing as soulmates in the damn wife. <laughs> that shit's stupid. That shit's stupid. <laughs> I heard it here trying to figure out. How do you know the soulmate is your soulmate if they marry? Because you love them. So are you doing things you probably shouldn't be doing with a married person to figure out that you don't have to sleep with your They soulmate. may not have been married before. And how do you know he's your like, soulmate? Because that's what I was trying to figure out. What if you love him, but the nigga's trash? Well, yeah, okay. So I know a, I know a couple who was best friends, a man and woman. They knew each other's spouses, and they were best friends from high school. Um, they knew, told each other everything. Like I said, they used to go on couples days, couple. Well, it ended up where they broke up, and then those two ended up dating. That's some shady shit. And no, I think. Because they were probably always so? meant to They be were together. already. They, but they was best friends. It's kind of like the best friends. But they all knew each other. Uh, they all knew each other. Yeah, you can't eat each other. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm lying. That's not how it was. Okay, break it down. Okay. Break it down. They were dating other people. The the mates didn't know each other. Okay. They did not know each other, but they used to tell each other different things that was going on in the relationship. Uh. So when. Things went sour, and each person used to be jealous of the relationship that those two had because they were of opposite sex. Uh -huh. So when they that situation went left, the, those two ended up being together. And they, they together been, till this they day. They should have been together in the first place. Right. right. They didn't do it. Right. Because like, I didn't want to mess scared. up. The yeah. Exactly. Yeah. They should have been together. And that happens. Okay, let's go. Shayla, what's your thoughts? Yeah. I believe you can. I mean, I feel like I 
had a similar situation a while ago, but I mean, it's kind of past, yeah, yeah. but you know, Breaking sometimes news. you, I was married before, so but the soul makes everyone you know. knows that that was what it was. <laughs> Terrible. Mm. But anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Well, all right. I feel okay. like you can still have love for somebody, just like you said, someone that you've grown up with or been friends with and known and you know them as a person and they know your ins and outs and you know theirs. It's difficult for someone else to come in and feel that same void that that person has because you've known them longer, you've known them forever. So it would be certain things that I would tell that person that I wouldn't say to my husband. Mm -hmm. But that's because he and I have known each other forever. So he knows me, I know him. So so this person that you're saying that you that you're confiding in, he's married to someone else. He wasn't. No. Just she was married. I was married. You was married to someone else. Mm -hmm. Well, that's kind of different, sugar. Why? But because I'm saying. I mean, he was married at a point. Yeah. Okay. Okay. He was married at a point, and that was terrible. <laughs> okay. But so, you, so at the end of the day, you two should have actually been together, opposed to marrying his wife and you going with your husband. We probably could have. Yeah. Are y'all still friends to this day? Yeah, we're still friends. So what? Like, what so kind of friends? Now it's a distant. It's not like we talk every day like we did then. Now it's a, I see you, hey, okay. every now and again, hey, okay. you know, happy birthday, Merry Christmas, that type of stuff. So y'all gotcha. never, never tried to date? We did, and when we did try to date, he basically was like, um, I was dating somebody else, and I think that I'm going to. I don't want to hurt you because we're friends, so I'm just gonna. And then after that, you know, I'm good one time. You reject me one time, I don't need it no more. So it wasn't really a rejection. It was, it was to protect you. Yeah, he was trying to protect, protect you. Well, for me, it felt like a rejection. It felt like a rejection. It's like I picked somebody else, so you pick somebody else and do that. And she's a cancer, and cancers are sensitive. Because I'm a chosen one. And amazing. Okay, not the chosen one. Okay, wait, I do want to say this. There have been people in my life that I'll have this amazing connection with. It'll be like more than one, though. Mm -hmm. Would you consider that a soulmate? And Come on, like, more than one. That's the, Lady I feel of like Leisure. The, connection is for like La a lady like of leisure. the Lady of Leisure. The Lady of the Night. Like soulmate <laughs> orgy or something. A soulmate orgy? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never heard of that. She said a soulmate orgy. Not to it right now. No, but I'm saying like if you think about different moments in your life when you've had a connection with a particular person during this. Now, like now, y'all might not even talk anymore. You exactly. might not for years, but during this moment, it felt like the connection a different. soul person connection. Uh -huh. And then you meet somebody else, and it feels that way too. But I'm a Leo, and we love to love. So, mm. so you yeah. say. <laughs> she says she's love a Leo, and she love. loves to love. love, to love. You love to spread your love <laughs> around town. <laughs> I don't know. I don't er, I don't feel like I've ever been with anyone that I can say I felt like was my soulmate. So I don't even know if I can offer any type of insight on this topic. What is this? What is what is but the topic? Topic? I, It's my topic, but I want to hear other people's opinion because I don't feel like I've ever, like I said, been in a relationship where I felt like that dude was my soulmate. Okay, so oh, let's switch the question. Let's switch the question. Soulmate. So if you had a best friend that was a male. Mm -hmm. I do. And you finally decided, you know what, I want to be with this person. Would you say that to them if they were married? No. So you would just let them be? I, I would not do that. that I, okay, let me tell you why I would not. I would not do that because my male best friend, um, I've never crossed the line, no. He's my female friend's baby's father. Okay. So that's, that's a that. totally different situation. No, I don't even look at him like that. Never. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just in case y'all never. He is my best <laughs> friend as a male. That's it. Okay, got it. Yeah, that's it. Got it. Let go. You ain't got none? Sure, you don't got Wait, I have a question. Ha have, has any of us been with our soulmate? I've never have been with Have you been with, with somebody you thought was your soulmate? You don't know who your soulmate is, sis. I don't even believe But I know I fucked with somebody with something that I thought were, but uh -huh. we were never like in a relationship. Like, I haven't been in a relationship with my soulmate. How do you know someone's your soulmate? Is it... I feel like the feeling is different. Yeah. Like you, that then feeling of butterflies never goes away. Exactly. And you're still friends. You still have that same feeling that you same had connection. from exactly. connection from you had, day like one. high school and you out of school for 30 years and you know, hey, hey, this, it is. That was yes. something. Yes. That was something. Yes. Yes. Okay. I feel that, that key. That shit's stupid. <laughs> 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 it's the look of stupid for me. I'm feeling this. It's so amazing. So, y'all, it looks like we
we have a series of questions. Do you guys ever feel like you've been in a relationship where you can say, I've been with my soulmate? No. If so, I want to hear about it. And how did you know that that was the, the what type of feeling was it? Was it different than uh, I love you? Because um, it has to be deeper if you're saying that's your soulmate. It's more than love. You Secondly, like. uh, I want to, yeah, I've been in yeah, strong I like. like. I've been in strong like and strong like. lust. But anyway, it's all the L. <laughs> love, lust, strong stupidity. Yeah, oh, yeah. I think this fool right here. <laughs> fall. Yeah. Look at me, fall. That's but the other question is, do you feel like your soulmate can be someone else's husband or wife? Um, if you have or, a best friend, or girlfriend, or girlfriend or boyfriend. boyfriend. If you have a best friend of the opposite Ooh. sex, then it's normal that you probably or same sex. Same sex or yes, true, very true. Thank you for correcting me. Yes. Um, you, it's normal that you probably would interact with them more, talk with them more, confide in them more. Do you feel like you could have possibly passed up your soulmate by, I guess, not speaking your piece? So it's a three-part question. I want to know if you've ever been in a relationship and you feel like that person was your soulmate, and what was the feeling like? Uh, second question is, do you feel like? Um, your soulmate could be somebody else's wife, husband, girlfriend, or boyfriend. Third, if you do have a best friend of the opposite sex or same sex, do you feel like if you thought that was your soulmate, would you actually come out and tell them? Mm. We want to know. So get down there in that comment section and let us know what we're talking about. Until next time, bye, you guys. Sorry, right, y'all. I did my twofer today, and now I'm at Stick Talk. I have never been to it. It is a hibachi um, restaurant, so you're able to make wise choices. But you know, this is calling my name. These little gourmet desserts. Vanilla pudding cookie butter drizzle. I told y'all, y'all gonna have to pray for me. Cause this is my weakness. Sweets are my weakness. This is a vanilla pudding, strawberry cheesecake. Then they got all these sugary drinks. Strawberry lemonade. And we are off of Richmond at Stick Talk. I'm here with Keith, so I'm gonna get just vegetables and uh, protein. And I can't even get too many sauces because the sauces sometimes too can where you, be where you go wrong. And I am a condiment lover. I love condiments. So, we gonna see. What you got last time? Uh, I mean, I can't have no noodles. Oh, Father, help me. Pray for me. I'm going to do vegetables and protein. I'll be back once I place my order so y'all can see what I got. All right, y'all. So I got chicken and shrimp. I'm going to eat my chicken and shrimp and veggie tables. I asked him to put them noodles on the side so I can give them to mama, but he still put them in my bowl. So here they are. Since I had to pay for them, I wanted my noodles, but... I'm just gonna do protein, 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 veggies. Now, let me eat. What's up, squad? It is Wednesday. It's the first night of mine. So, catch your chicks and whatever the Bone Thugs and Harmony said. I do remember when that album dropped. I was in high school, and my cousin was in love with the song Buddha Lovers. Now, if you are of age, then you know what I'm talking about. But, anywho, um, we have a lot of things that are going on this weekend, so I'll tell you guys about that. But first, Y'all been really, uh, really, really cutting up in that comment section, you know, telling me about don't junk up my car and I'll be living out my car in um, a couple weeks or whatnot. I'm not going to do that to the new car, y'all. I'm going to be very good. Whatever I get in the car with, it comes out that same night. Right now, I'm in my daughter's car only because I travel a lot of miles when it comes to work and um, leaving for lunch to go take care of my mom and things like that. So I'm in my daughter's car just because I don't want to put all those miles on a new car. So it just makes more sense. Um, but yeah, I have been really trying to get to this camera so that I can show you guys. I did a small little online luxury haul. Um, so things have been coming in and I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, but this weight loss challenge has been draining okay because i have to devote you know additional time to getting things done because we have a specific amount of workouts we are to do each week we also have homework that we have to do um we have daily check-ins you can either attend one at 5 a.m or one at 5 p.m um this morning we talked about what is um 
what is an important investment or how does she word it let me think she said what is the most important investment that you can make and I said in your health and um, she meant overall though so the answer that she gave was invest in yourself so that will cover you know physical health mental health education financially investing in yourself all that falls under that umbrella so i just wanted to share that tidbit of information with the squad today make sure you guys are invested in yourself um no matter what it is take time to love on yourself self-care and things like that because if you're able to stand 10 toes down and you're in good health and things like that you're able to care for others um as you wish um my rule of thumb as far as financial health um, I do 10% to the church, I do 20% to my savings, and then the rest I live off of. And that seems to have worked well for me. I've been doing that for quite some time now. So I um, am on schedule to be able to live comfortably at retirement. Um, so that's just my rule of thumb, but you do whatever is best for your situation. Now, we have a couple of things coming up this weekend. Yeah, we have Legends of the Street Tour, which is a concert that's coming to Houston. We're going to attend on Saturday. Some of the artists that will be in concert is um, Young Jeezy, uh, T.I. Um, that was a couple of that I can remember off the top of my head right now. And then Sunday, we're going to have our little Galentines. So I'm excited about that, y'all. Know, I know how to put myself together. And I think I'm going to wear my little bust down black middle part wig because I love that wig now. Y'all, I used to only wear bobs. Bobs used to be my go-to hairstyle. I would not wear any hair that went past my shoulders. And in high school, I used to wear like the cascade bobs, the pink curl balls, however you reference them. I used to do the freeze where, you know, they do the finger waves, then they lift it up. I used to do that. I used to do French rolls. Thinking back, child, I'm soulful, okay? But anywho, um, that's, those are, were my go-to hairstyles back in high school. And as an adult, I recently just stepped out of my comfort zone to start wearing long hair. So, um, I don't know. I pulled myself together. And, of course, you guys going to be able to see. And um, hopefully this evening I'll be able to show you guys my little short luxury haul that I of items that I purchased online. Um, y'all, if y'all desire to own anything luxury or shop luxury you don't have to pay full price you don't have to you know go to neiman's or Saks or whatever but if you choose to that's your business but normally i go to um, websites where i'm able to find merchandise that is um not as expensive as in those particular stores so i'm going to put those websites also in my description box just in case you guys have not heard of them before um and forgive me if i'm saying i'm wrong but i usually go to satire guilt um farfetch uh italius elise walker um what's the name rula la it's several websites that you can go to where you can find affordable luxury items so again i'll just throw that in there for you guys as well so that we can be on the same page because you know we got to look good and if you if, like i said if it's your desire if it's your heart's desire to wear luxury or whatever it is Hey, I'm going to put y'all on game. But y'all know how we do it on the channel. We do highs, lows, and foes. And whoever don't like it, fuck them hoes. Right, say hello, everyone. Hi, everybody. Why your voice like that? Hello, everyone. How you feeling today? Oh, I feel fine. Praise God. Yes, indeed. She got some KFC here. We got some coleslaw mac and cheese. Biscuit and fried chicken. So mama finna eat her lunch, y'all. I done came home and got all the way together. Now I'm going back to work. Toodles, mom. See you later. What's up, squad? It is Thursday. It is about 5 p.m. I just made it in the house. I had to pick y'all niece up. Promise she had a running club today. But um, after I picked her up, I went by my mother's house. And I'm sitting in the driveway. She ran inside to grab her cell phone. I'm sitting in the driveway and I see three young African-American boys running. And I looked at Promise. I said, I wonder what they running from. But then they started waving their hands in the air, trying to flag me down. So I let the window down and I said, everything all right? They were saying, ma'am, ma'am, somebody is chasing us. And when everything that's going on in the news and everything, you know, everybody is in the mindset, we have to protect our black boys. And so I'm like, chasing y'all for what? And so he was like, I don't know. He's just chasing us. So as he's talking to me, a man did hit the corner. He has on like a hoodie with a hood on, hands in his pocket. So I said, hurry up and get in. So they jumped in the back seat 
and um the guy walked up and i said is there anything i can help you with he was like are these your children i said why like i need to know why are you following them why are they afraid because they were very afraid one of them had a little elementary um pair of scissors in his hands i guess he was going to use that for his weapon but i'm like what is it these boys are terrified of you if you don't know them what do you need with them so basically he was just saying that his camera ca caught them on his lawn and caught them um hitting his uh, garage door or whatnot so that's ultimately what he wanted but it was he did look very suspicious and he was like i didn't mean no harm i just was trying to follow them to see if they would go speak to a parent so that i can talk to their parent about what my camera recorded and he basically just wanted them to stay off his lawn but i'm like sir you saw they was terrified like you couldn't announce yourself or say what you wanted they are literally breathing hard they were terrified running from you and i don't know what i thought i was gonna do i guess we was gonna run them over with the car because i was ready i was like jump in the back get in get in they didn't know me i didn't know them but i went into mother protection mode promise that i said promise you know them she said yes so i'm like okay we finna help them get away from whoever it is this man is coming around this corner but anywho y'all i am about to um first take this coat off real quick and then we're gonna get into uh some of our small luxury haul i did not get a chance to do it yesterday and I'm actually in between a uh, time of me going to the gym so I'm gonna go ahead take this coat off and then we'll get into um the small luxury haul that I want to show you guys there go TT back there TT said she knew them she said mama that's the that's the house that had the trampoline where I used to go and jump on the trampoline I was like cool you know them we gonna protect them right T <laughs> I don't know why she's acting like that, but I'll be back. All right, you guys. So your girl got relaxed. I'm ready to go to my class. I'm feeling pumped. Not really. I'm really tired, but we're going to go in with positive thoughts so I can get through this hour of cardio hell. Cardio and strength, Tony, actually. But anyways, I want y'all to get into these tights. I got my Black History tights on, and I'm happy about them. Y'all see? Y'all see it say Obama right there. These are my Black History tights. It's like a little newspaper. Yes, I love these tights. But anyways, like I promised you guys, I'm going to put y'all on. Don't ever say Jay didn't put y'all on because I'm about to put y'all on. And I'm going to give you guys what I do when I'm trying to save a coin but also um, purchase high-end um, things. So I'm going to put in the description box all of the websites that I'm referencing now because we're going to go through it kind of fast because, like I say, I do got class in about... Uh, 30 minutes so let's go through this real quick but i always go to these sites first excuse me i can't even talk i always go to these sites first before i go to places like neiman's or sex or whatever and i click on the sales section to see what it is that is on sale and i have been fortunate enough to find very good deals so these are some versace shades versace yes i got these off of joma shop these were half off what you would pay retail so these are really cute i like them and fuchsia is my favorite color so we got those so i will again put it in the description box this particular bag <clears throat> everything is authentic okay but if if you choose to go the full route hey jay don't judge this is a Givenchy bag okay it's blue jean material and white i like it this bag normally is $15.25 retail. Can y'all see that? I got it for $9.15. So pretty decent savings. $15.25 plus tax retail. I got it for $9.15. And this came off a site called Elise Walker. So it also has the shoulder strap. They have the Givenchy on the shoulder strap. Yes, I like that. I can wear this with my little jean outfits or, you know, do that, do that. And then this. <clears throat> I'm trying to see if it shows how much I paid for it because I can't really remember everything. But this is a Dolce & Gabbana Fuchsia Pink. Again, this is my favorite color. Little handbag. Very cute. It has a shoulder strap uh, also inside the bag. Very, very cute. Very dainty. <clears throat> So this came from a website called Rue La La. Rue La La. Now some of y'all may already know about this and didn't tell me, trying to keep the secret from me. But you know, places like Satire, Farfetch, all those websites, 
yes hit up the sales section and see if it's something in there that catches your eye and that way you can buy high end and save a coin because i'm all about saving the coin but i will wear four too don't get me wrong i will wear some faux designer <clears throat> but everything i'm showing you guys is authentic okay this is a fendi bag okay this came from mr porter so this came from mr porter and i want to i can't even remember how much i paid for it i know i didn't pay what you would pay retail so just know that everything i'm showing you you normally would not pay retail i think they were advertising this bag as like a man purse but um I, you can wear it across the body and things like that especially when you're on vacay taking the kids to a theme park running to the mall things like that where you just want to throw on something real quick that's a good bag now these are new purchases that i did not get from those particular websites these came from sex but i happen to like them these are dior y'all know it's vacation time so i'm giving myself some vacation pickups these are so cute to me they're so dainty so girly so cute these are just some dior slides some bejeweled dior slides and they had the nerve to give you some extra some of these jewels in case some of them fall off like i'm gonna sit there and glue some jewels on some shoes baby i'm not gonna do that mm -mm. jay not gonna do that but i appreciate it though i appreciate it i like these these are also lightweight i can appreciate a lightweight sandal a uh, flip-flop because some of the designers sandals are um a bit heavy like chanel had some that i liked um but they were a bit heavy so you couldn't get with that then honey these are one of my faves and these are one that are a bit heavy they're not very light but these are some louis vuitton green slides these are new releases new season and your girl had to cop it so i could do color blocking with this you know wear it with orange and stuff like that so i'm excited about that so again, I'm going to put the websites that I go to first before I go to just your normal retail store. So um, head over to the description box, click them links or go to the websites, click the sales section, see if they have anything to offer. And sometimes um, they will be cheaper depending on your size. So don't look at that price and be like, oh, I don't want it. Go ahead and click your size because your size may be even cheaper. So I want to share that tidbit of information with you guys before I go get my workout on. So um, now I'm about to go to this torturous workout and um, I'll talk to you guys later. Hey squad, so this is my first time picking up the camera on today. It is Friday. I am um, attending a, I guess the fitness portion of an event. This is the AKA's Painting the Town Red for Heart Healthy Awareness. So we are going to lead them in some physical uh dance fitness all right y'all my camera went dead but we are doing you jam fitness with the aka they in the back they go see play they in here we had i had to park way down the street way down yonder y yonder's way and i run because y'all know i yeah in dark neighborhoods and stuff i be a little scared but anywho we finna get up here and i'm finna mess up every step they got going on no, <laughs> All right, y'all, we have a subscriber. Tell me your name. Jessica Mosey. Jessica Mosey, so you're AKA? Yes, I am. And they're painting the town red for heart healthy awareness? Yes, we are. And we about to dance? Yes, we are. And we gonna be tired? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I left uh, the AKA event and I met some subscribers. I'd be so happy. Y'all know how that makes my heart smile when I see you guys and y'all recognize me and y'all not afraid to walk up to me and give me a good old hug. I told you it'd be like a family reunion. But I met um, the subscriber that you guys saw on camera and then EB, who did not want to be on camera, but she walked up to me and she called me. Y'all be calling me by my good name now. Y'all supposed to be calling me Jay. But anywho, Evie walked up to me and we had a good old time at the AKA's uh, Heart Healthy Paint the Town Red event. We burned a few calories um, and now I am at Orlean Seafood to meet Gina and our friend Nini. Now, from my understanding, there's a Zydeco band playing tonight. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be 
extremely loud in this establishment. But I'm here. I done drove across America to get here. And uh, I've never eaten here before though, and I'm hungry. So let's see what they have to offer. But y'all know I have to probably get a salad because I have to post my food for my um, trainer to see. So anywho, I am at Arlene Seafood and we get ready to go in. Always running, but I have arrived at Joy Uptown. We have Galentine's today. Me and Key are here. Hey. We labor, we here. And y'all, I didn't want to valet my daughter's car because it was blocking my car, so I couldn't get out of, of the garage. It's a little dusty. I ain't gonna. Sh Let me give y'all a glimpse. Y'all see the Impala? And look at the cars that is next to. This is why I be embarrassed. Look, Lamborghinis <laughs> and such and such. Ooh, child. Embarrassed. Ha. Ah. Well, hello. Hey. 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 Look who it is. Hey. Well, happy birthday. Hey. And they sipping on champagne already. Hey. Girl, you brought gifts too? Caesar. Oh my god. My bad. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hold on, let me get it. I get it. I'm it's, sorry. It's, no, I made, I'd rather, I made a boo boo. I'd rather have liquor on the ground than glass. Oh, okay. Y'all, I know. This is my first Galentine. I know, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have nothing from the my fault. This is from Shell. I didn't know the, uh, we were supposed to bring gifts. Oh, you know that? I was like, I'm just gonna have little gifts for everybody. I just, 
look good. I don't look good. Cheers, hoes. Talk about toot your own horn. Y'all ain't hoes. Y'all are beautiful, gorgeous women. It is Valentine's Day. So if you don't have a man right now, it is okay. Don't feel pressured by your There are people who get don't feel pressured. He's newly in a relationship. Don't feel pressured by your baby <laughs> and your friends to be in a relationship. It's Valentine's time. Treat yourself. Think about yourself. Do a self-care day for yourself. Buy that bag. Buy that shoe. Buy, do that vacation. Watch that TV show. Just be la If you want to just be lazy for a day and not do laundry, it's Galentine's. Do that, sis. You ain't got to worry about having no man, as they say, my man, my man. You ain't got to worry about that, okay? Yeah, these people who just get in relationships start trying to give us our little advice. We don't want to hear it. I, 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 I do that every year for myself. I think about Gina every year. Man or not. Kids or not. You got to take care of you first, okay? Click, clink, clink. Y'all know she just, thank you. She just got in this relationship and now we getting all this advice. something that I would have picked by myself. But Hannah said it was sweet. I mean, it ain't bad, but it ain't sweet, sweet like I thought it would be. You might think otherwise. I think they're going to be good, so... Thank you. I was like, we got chicken. I wanted to get a... T I ordered a tent also, but they're so cheap. I'm like, I may as well just get a small size. They just take care of this. We make a small size. We got sliders. Thank so I also you. I also had it in my basket. Y'all, Tanya here. Hey, y'all. She, she's fashionably late, but she's I here. I am. I just came from Louisiana, so I'm late. What you was doing in Louisiana? My mama's birthday. Oh, okay. I gave her a party out there. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love it. Thank you. Hair, makeup. When is my play? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so hungry, y'all. Why yours don't look like this? I changed it to fish, but it's the black and chicken with no bacon. Okay. Uh, yep. Crispy potato. So this salmon, is yes. like a mashed potato shaped like an egg roll. If y'all remember, Ernie tried to copycat these and it was an epic fail. <laughs> she said it was an epic fail. <laughs> Black and chicken. What you got, G? Salmon. I got crusted salmon with mashed potatoes, peas, and asparagus. What is that, a plop -up? A tomato, maybe? Okay. I think it's a tomato. Oh, I'll call right. chill. Okay, I, go. What do you have, Jen? I have crab cakes, two of them. Okay. And an Just apple fennel salad okay. with a light tartar sauce drizzle. Okay. I'll run around there. Uh -huh. All right, Jen. Tanya's still ordering, y'all. Y'all know she just got here. <laughs> she got tacos and french fries. She did. She's teaching people about the body stocking. Yeah. Yes. Look at the dessert. Oh. Thank you, Y'all, Galentine's is over. We're paying to get our vehicles. Y'all have fun? Y'all have fun? We did. We had a blast. We had a good time. You had a good time? I think Bestie is being the photographer that she is. Okay. She, Tanya, she, you know, pretty, pretty and pink. Yes, let's see this. This blush pink, gravy, serve them, Tanya. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't nobody asked you that. You, you taking it on your story? Yeah. You gotta go get it. See, I was a little confused with that too. So. I'm supposed to get my car. All right.
right, you guys, so I am ready. This is the look I have on my middle part bust down. Um, I'm headed to meet Arctic Bessie for the concert tonight. I have on a little black and white get up from Fashion Nova with my Nike Dunks. Yes, I'm gonna be comfortable because we got a lot of walking that's gonna happen and your girl needs to be comfortable, okay? Anywho, I'm headed out because she's already called me and said she was ready, so I need to get to the location so we can catch our Uber and make it there because we are a little bit tardy, but that's okay. Y'all, we have arrived. There's Teets. There's G. Hi, squad. Hey. <laughs> Oh. Please go to 110. 110. That's your access going downstairs. Okay, okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Hey, it's time. School walk. Yeah. School tree. I got so many friends. She knows she the shit. If you don't, why how would she want? She throw a beat, she a bitch, shout at me the shit, but she super She's a very freaky girl, don't bring her to my phone, but she's a little man Shout out to us, shout out to us Better be cool, yo. 